Orlando Pirates confirm four new signings. Jabulo Nobu confirms his Kaiser Chiefs move. And Cape Town City confirm the signing of Darren Keat. Hey guys, welcome to the Wazanazo Transfer Show. And let's get into the latest happenings in the PSL. <laughs> Our first story of the episode takes us to Bafana Bastende as Arrows announce Siema. Golden Arrows have announced a new coach to replace Mandla Nakazi, who has left the club to join Orlando Pirates. Bafana Bastende have appointed Lesolonolo Siema as their new coach as the KwaZulu Natal outfit finalizes preparations for the new season. We are pleased to announce the appointment of Lesolo Nolo Siema as our new head coach. Our next story takes us to the Mother City as Bafana goalkeeper joins the Mother City outfit. Cape Town City have found a Peter Leonberg replacement in the form of the experienced Bafana Bafana goalkeeper Darren Keat. Keat has finally put pen to paper with the Mother City outfit after weeks of speculation on whether he would join them or not. Darren Keat will be turning out for Cape Town City for the 2021-2022 season. Sticking with goalkeepers is Barocca signed a new goal stopper. Barocca have swooped for Zambian international Cyril Chibwe. The goalkeeper left Polokwane City and has signed for Bahá. Baroka can confirm that the 28-year-old has been signed on a three-year deal. Our next story takes us to the Buccaneers as Orlando Pirates have bolstered their squad ahead of the 2021-22 season. Orlando Pirates were able to confirm four new signings on the first day of pre-season training. A statement on their website states, Orlando Pirates Football Club is pleased to announce the signing of Goodman Masele, Munepule Saleng, Bandile Shandu and Kwandwa Ngonyama. Masile joins the club from Baroka FC on a four-year deal. Attacking midfielder Saleng has signed an initial three-year deal while Ngonyama and Shandu have joined Orlando Pirates as free agents on initial two-year and three-year deals respectively. Orlando Pirates getting the business in early and getting quality signings. Guys, please let me know in the comments below what do you think of the four new signings from the Buccaneers. Staying in Soweto, as Kaiser Chiefs transfer ban officially comes to an end, with the Glamour Boys set to announce seven new signings. Kaiser Chiefs two-window transfer ban has officially come to an end, as the Glamour Boys are expected now to announce around seven new signings in the upcoming day. Um, of course, they have been working hard behind the scenes to improve their squads before even being able to register new players. Several players have allegedly already put pen uh, to paper with the likes of Brandon Peterson, Sofiso Oshanti, Pachuzato, Nange, Kajelo Sijota, and Sibosiso Mabeliso will join the Glamour Boys as free agents. While the first confirmed deal for the Glamour Boys has been Jabulo Nobu from Swallows as the player's agent has come out and revealed that the defender has signed a three-year deal to join the Amkosi. Chiefs are expected to announce their new players in the upcoming days, but none of the players will be eligible to play in the CAF Champions League final. Staying on course as we move to a former Chiefs midfielder as three PSL teams compete for his signature. The former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder Pule Exton is a man in demand with three clubs joining the race for his services. Maruma Gallants and TS Galaxy have expressed their interest in bringing Hendrik Pule Exton on board with newly promoted outfit Sikukune United having joined the race for the in-demand midfielder. Exton is a versatile midfield playmaker who can fit into a lot of different roles. Gallants, TS Galaxy and Sikukune would benefit if they could win the signature of the former Kaiser Chiefs man. Sticking with the newly promoted outfit as Rusike could join a new club. Outgoing Supersport United 
striker Evans Rusike is set to stay in Gauteng as he closes in on a deal with a new club. Rusike has been in talks with potential suitors after being linked with a move back to Maritzburg. Newly promoted side Sukukune United are knocking for his services as a move has been confirmed with the two parties said to have agreed a deal in principle. Sukukune are really beefing up their squad as they prepare for the new 2021-2022 season. Yep guys this is always for the episode please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode